friends, in today's video I want to talk you through how I made these wonderful little heart ornaments. So this is a plywood base and I decoupage sheet music onto them. So this is what they looked like at the beginning before I started working on them. So as you can see they are just laser cut heart shapes and I decoupaged them using the sheet music out of this old book of Beethoven sonatas that I bought at a charity shop like about a year ago now. So as you can see on the inside this is what it looks like. I've already used quite a few pages out of it. This is a very old edition probably um, early 1900s. Um, some people, especially my old music teachers, will consider this sacrilege. <laughs> but as a former musician myself, I think it's fine. I think it's fine to use this kind of thing for something that you're gonna hang in your house. So it's actually authentic sheet music, it's not just something that's made up, it's actually um, a real thing. So that's what makes it so fun for me personally and that's why I've enjoyed making these hearts so much. I've actually made quite a lot of them. So this set that I'm going to show you how I made these, I've made it slightly different to how I've made them before. So I've actually by now I've probably made, I don't know, 60 of them maybe um, or so. So I came up with this idea sometime before Christmas and I made them and I sold them as Christmas ornaments and I literally just sold the last batch that I had so I figured it was time to make some more because I truly enjoy making them and also I think that they are just a really cool house ornament. You don't have to just have it around for Christmas, it can totally hang up on your wall or anywhere else. Uh, all year round. So I do like to make these in batches usually so I'll make so this time I made six of them and I have actually listed them on my Etsy page in case if you're interested to have a look um, for whatever reason. But like before my Christmas fair I made like um, 40 or 50 of these at the, at the same time so it does take a while if you're making a lot of them be prepared to spend um, quite a few hours on them because even though it is a very simple ornament to make there's quite a few steps and I just wanted to guide you through them and also so obviously I used the sheet music out of this old book that I found in a charity shop you could use whatever paper you, that you would like to use you could use scrapbooking paper old cards you could use um, design paper pads that you can buy in different craft shops um, you could use napkin rice paper uh, even just old book that you don't read and just use pages out of that that would also be very very cool of course you can also do the exact same thing to other craft shapes so it doesn't have to be hearts it could be um, circles it could be stars I don't know moon shape whatever you would like to see you can do that so previously I've done these little hearts but two-sided and actually the original plan for these ones was to make them two-sided as well but then I changed my mind because I've done quite a few of them so I just wanted to make something a little bit different and just show you make a slightly different technique. I've done these two-sided and I've applied my Pentart Fine Line Crackle Varnish and then sealed them with my spray solvent varnish that I have. I've made these also two-sided but without crackle varnish and sealed them with gloss so this time I decided to seal them with mattes. So anyways, I'm going to talk you through how I made these. So I start with my little shapes, these are 7 centimeters, and I paint them using my Rust-Oleum furniture paint and I just do one coat on the front and the back of the hearts just to use it as a primer. After they were dry I took my hearts and I stenciled around them in my book. I like to do that because I can then see what exactly is going to fit into the heart because as it is an actual real sheet music book there are little things like, um, you know, the musical terms <laughs> that you can see. Um, like this one says, forte and staccato on it. And I just think that for somebody that is actually into music and knows what those mean, it's, it's like a little Easter egg in there. <laughs> so I like to throw little things in there. And once they are cut out, I go ahead and I glue them on. So I apply 
one layer of Mod Podge. Then I put my little heart paper over the top of it and I adjust it to make sure that it goes over all of the edges. And then I use my little rubber roller to press it down and to get all of the air bubbles and excess glue out. And that kind of makes sure that the paper is down very, very well there and it's definitely stuck on there. After that, I take my little barbecue stick and I poke the hole through. So the hearts that I have are hanging hearts with little holes in them. You can also get them without holes. So I take my little stick and I poke the hole through and I get as much of the excess paper off of it as, as I can using that little stick. So that can be a little bit fiddly. And then once I've got my hole, I go ahead and I apply another layer of Mod Podge over the top of my paper. Now, so when I use this paper, because it's very, very old and already very thin and quite fragile, I don't soak it in water because I've tried that before and it rips quite easily. So it just makes it a little bit more fiddly for me to use it. Because it's so old and so thin, I don't find that it is necessary to wet it before I apply glue. The glue soaks in there quite well and they are stuck on there, they're not going anywhere. So if you're using really, really thin paper or really fragile paper, don't wet it, just let the glue do the job. But of course, if you have some kind of thicker paper or if you have normal scrapbooking paper or even like one of them designer paper pads that have 100 GSM paper, you might want to wet that before you go ahead and glue it just because it's new paper so this one this paper is a hundred years old it doesn't need it <laughs> and then once it was dry i sanded off the edges and i applied brown acrylic paint to the back of my hearts i had to do i think two or three layers just because the brown paint that i have isn't very good and then i take my sponge dabber and i dabbed on the paint so as you can see here on the edges of the hearts it's all it's all kind of browned off. I like to do that because it kind of it kind of blends it all together. Once my paint was dry, I went ahead and I applied my stencil to the back. So the stencil that I have, I actually got it from Aggie's Craft Shop, I think, um, like a long time ago. And I believe it was a part of like a bigger one, but I cut it out because I needed like a small bit of something. So I just kind of put it on just so that the pattern kind of gets onto most of the hearts and then I take my gold wax so I'm still using up the leftovers of my pentart gold wax and I just take my natural bristle brush for it and I dab it on over the stencil and that's how I created this nice little gold you could just use a metallic paint for it or not even a metallic paint so any kind of paint for that it doesn't have to be a wax but I wanted gold over this and I don't have any gold paint at the moment. <laughs> I'm all out, so I used wax. I also applied wax over the edges. I did at first try and use the brush for the edges, but then I figured that um, it's a lot quicker and easier just if you take a little bit with your finger and just kind of rub it on the edges like so. And then to seal it, I used my Polyvine Decorator's Varnish. So this is the one that I have. This is a dead flat finish. As you really need to invest into gloss uh, version of this. So after I applied the varnish, it did dull down the um, the shininess of the wax, but that's okay. It, you can still see that it's a little bit metallic. It's just not so like in your face. And then the last thing that I did was just um, put my ribbons on. So this is the ribbon that I decided to use. You could use any color that you would like. I thought that this one looks nice. So that's what I use and that is it. That's how I make my little heart ornaments in general. Also, you can go ahead and add more bits, add less or, or take away some bits. You don't have to do the stenciling. You could just paint the back or you could do it double-sided, whatever you would like to do, feel free to go ahead and do it. So this is how I make a lot of these kind of ornaments. I hope that you found this helpful. Let me know. Um, let me know what you think to these. Will you be making some of these? Are you going to keep them to yourself or are you going to give them to somebody? So let me know. As always, if you have any suggestions for any future videos, do let me know in the comment section down below. If you would like to connect with me on other social media, you can also find the links for that in the description below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you would like to see more and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!